The first big trade of the NBA offseason went down last night. It was a three-team trade between the Wizards, Grizzlies, and Celtics. The big pieces of the trade are Kristaps Porzingis going to the Celtics, Marcus Smart going to the Grizzlies, and the Wizards receiving Tyus Jones in a pick. The Celtics, in addition, are receiving two picks from the Wizards. They're sending also Danilo Gallinari and Mike Muscala, I believe, who are both expiring contracts to the Wizards. And those picks are coming from Memphis to Boston. You know, I, I don't know the exact particulars of everything. I think I covered it all, though. But the main pieces are Tyus Jones, Marcus Smart, Kristaps Porzingis, the 25th overall pick of the draft, which is going on currently, and the 35th pick is going to Washington. So I want to just break this down quickly. I didn't have enough time to do it for a YouTube short, so I want to you know break it down quickly from each team's perspective. Let's start with the Wizards. This is easy. The Wizards are going to receive the 35th pick, so they're getting a second-round pick. They're getting two expiring contracts. They're not going to have to pay Kristaps Porzingis, and I think that's the biggest thing of this trade is, you know, Kristaps was good for them last year when he played. He had a $36 million option, but it was more likely that he would opt out and look for, you know, there's certainly a large possibility that that would be the case. And I think Washington was like, look, we want to get something out of Kristaps Porzingis rather than having to give him that large contract. You know, there was a scenario where he opted in and they could have had him and, and looked to move him in the off season or during the season. But, and that's ultimately what did happen. He opted in and they did opt in and trade, but I think they wanted to just get value without having to pay him a longer term extension. I think the new GM that's come in there, uh, I believe he's from the Clippers. He's now the president, maybe maybe he's not the GM, but he's looking to just clean house. First it was Beal, now it's Porzingis and uh, Kuzma opted out. So I don't believe they'll bring him back. So they also added Tyus Jones, you know, got him. He's a good point guard. He will now be paired with Jordan Poole. I'll discuss that trade in another video. But ultimately, I think the Wizards are, you know, they're getting the ball rolling on absolutely tearing it down. Now let's go to the Celtics. I think the Celtics really hit a home run here. I haven't been the biggest fan of Kristaps Porzingis ever since he left New York. You know, he's not the player I think we all thought he once could become. He never reached that level. I think he'll always be a B-tier player, and, and he's not even a number two on a great team. But I think on the Celtics, he's a great fit this, for the Celtics team. You know, ultimately, it was clear. Clear with the first trade that the Celtics tried to do where they tried to trade Brogdon and now with Smart. They wanted to break up the trio of Brogdon, Smart, and White. I think they thought that they had a little bit too much, uh, you know, too many guards that were too similar. You know, those three are very similar in many ways. And so I think they wanted to get off one of them for a big man. And I think Porzingis is a great fit. You know, Horford's a great center for them. And he's really strong defensively. He was he was great defensively in the postseason, especially on Joel Embiid. And, you know, I think offensively he's a great shooter even though he struggled from beyond the arc in the postseason but there's some they're a little bit limited with him and he's getting older you know I don't think they can rely on him to give them 30 plus minutes a game and you know Robert Williams is always injured as well so I think with Porzingis he's going to kind of unlock some things in their offense they're going to be able to be able excuse me to run a lot more high pick and roll where you know Porzingis will either roll to the rim or they'll be able to kick it out to the three-point line where he's going to be able to shoot from beyond the arc I think he's a nice fit as long as he can stay healthy he's going to add an element to the Boston offense add some more size. Now they're going to have Robert Williams, Al Horford, and Kristaps Porzingis. I love the trade. Not to mention they got picks from Memphis with the 25th overall pick and a top four protected first round pick in 2024. Now they did lose Marcus Smart, who I think, I think it would have been better if they would have got rid of Brogdon personally. I, I mean, he was a six man of the year. I think he's an awesome player. He's had some injury concerns. And I think Marcus Smart is a very pivotal to the Celtics culture there you know he's a very hard-nosed player has been around there he was there for nine seasons um very physical set the tone many times you know there were, he had his flaws but I think they are going to miss him in that end so they're adding a bit with Porzingis and a pick they're breaking up the maybe too many guards thing but I think they're going to lose a toughness element with Marcus Smart so they're going to have to find somebody to replace that but ultimately I think it's a, a home run for the Celtics and then when you go to the Grizzlies, I also believe this is a home run. Now, I don't love the picks being given up, but I think Marcus Smart is perfect for this team. He's going to come in and fill that Dylan Brooks role, and I believe he'll you know be able to do just as well, if not better, than Dylan Brooks. I mean, I think he'll do better than Dylan Brooks in this role. He's going to be a hard-nosed player. Like I said, he's going to bring a veteran presence to this team, which we've been saying we need. Everybody's been saying get an adult in that building, and they have – you know, everybody's like, he may be able to help John Morant. Maybe he will. But regardless, he's going to be helpful for the team in general. I think he's going to have a veteran presence. He's going to bring 
further, you know, they're already a good defensive team. They're going to be even better with Marcus Smart. And he adds an element of scoring that I think they kind of lacked when, especially when Brooks was struggling with his shot late in the season. I think he's a perfect fit for this team. And man, if John Moran can come back healthy, they're going to be scary. You know, I, I think this is a perfect veteran pickup for the Grizzlies and, you know, the right kind of move to make. They didn't swing for a star. I, I think, you know, if you would have told me OG Ananobi to the Grizzlies or Marcus Smart, now look, OG Ananobi, the, the upside certainly higher. But I think this was the smart pickup where you know what you're getting with Marcus Smart and you know that he can bring something to this team that a lot of the guys on this team don't have, and that's experience. So overall, very interesting trade. I like it for all three teams. You know, there's like it's a trade. So there's going to be give and take on everything. There's going to be, you know, they're giving things up and you're going to lose a bit here and there. But ultimately, I think all three teams benefit. They get what they wanted to get done. They accomplished with this trade. So it's going to be a very interesting offseason, you know, more trades to break down like this. And yeah, make sure to keep an eye out. I'm going to be breaking down the Jordan Poole and Chris Paul trade right now.